Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peak's Peak. I've got another upgrade for the Kubota sidekick today. Now, Vivor just happened to reach out to me at just the right time and offered me this product. And I thought that would be perfect to go behind the side-by-side -side and our little Kubota BX tractor. So let me share with you what we got. So this is a 15 cubic foot ATV slash side-by-side -side trailer, kind of a landscaping trailer or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it's about four foot long, a couple feet wide. I figure it'll come in handy around here. It even comes with a little rubber mat to cover the grating in the bottom. So if you're hauling mulch or something like that, it won't all fall through the bottom. Very simple to put together, although there was one mistake in the instructions. They had one of the bars the picture was mixed up with which one you're supposed to use. But it's really straightforward in terms of how to put it together. So no problem there. Probably took me about 30 minutes to throw this thing together. And that was really taking my time. So pretty easy all in all. We're gonna give this thing a go today. It's a 1500 pound capacity trailer. And what we're about to do, because our hill is too muddy to take the truck up and I need to take some lumber up to the cabin. We're probably gonna stretch the limits of the little trailer today and load it down with some rough cut lumber after I get it cut. Uh, that way we can get to work on the railings of our loft. Be sure and check this out. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna pick one of these up from Vivor on their website. Pretty affordable little trailer. I think it's gonna come in real handy around here. So let's see how it does. Now, if that ain't finding out what she's made of, I don't know what is. We made it up here with our load of lumber, and yeah, it was it's a heavy load. I mean, it's all hanging over the back, so this is kind of not how that's intended to be used. I can see myself having to patch some welds and, and, and redo some work on it if we're gonna work it that hard. But here's the thing, we brought the truck up here yesterday. We almost didn't get it out of here. We couldn't make it up the muddy hill to get pulled out of here. We had to go over onto the neighbor's drive. So I didn't want to bring the truck up here again, but we had these boards we needed to haul. I can't really haul them in the bed of the side by side because it's too short. This worked, got our boards up here, and now we can get to work. So guys, we've had a chance to put the little utility trailer to the test, and honestly, I'm really impressed with how well this fits, especially behind the Kubota BX. This little trailer, 15 cubic foot trailer, will, I'm sure, haul the 1,500 pounds that it's advertised for because of the stress that I put it through hauling that lumber up the hill. But what I find as far as maneuverability and all of that is that Putting it behind the little subcompact tractor here works great. It's a probably a little better fitted in size to be running behind the tractor. On the side-by-side, -side, it works pretty well, and you can see it over the bed of the side-by-side -side in order to back it up and all of that. This is a very, very affordable landscape trailer, and it's gonna be handy for those little jobs where you're moving mulch or a little bit of gravel and rocks and things like that around. And I love the fact that it comes in the black and orange, so it works well with the Kubota colors. Um, it, it fits in well there, and it's got some great features to it as well. Now where this trailer hooks up with just a pinhole, uh, that, that's another reason why this works well behind the subcompact tractor is because you have your factory draw bar underneath your three-point hitch there, and I leave that pinhole open because if I'm gonna be using a ball, I actually have a receiver on my quick hitch where I can change it out to different size balls to move trailers, big trailers around and things like that. So that pinhole is open and it's easy to connect that trailer right up to that 
and use it behind the tractor. Now on the side-by-side, -side, I actually have to have a receiver insert that just has an open hole. And what I've also found is most of my receivers have a great big hole, so there's some slop in there with that pin. So just a couple of things to uh, think about when you're choosing this trailer for your application, whether it's for an ATV, a side-by-side, or a subcompact tractor, or all of those things. Because here, we're gonna use it behind all of them. We have the same pinholes on our four-wheelers, so we'll be pulling it behind the four-wheeler as well. But, great little trailer, also has a dump feature on it, as well as, I mentioned, the rubber mat that lays out and covers the grate so that, you know, if you're hauling materials that will fall through it, like gravel or mulch, then you can put that rubber mat down and it keeps all of the materials inside of the trailer. All in all, a great little buggy. So guys, if you're looking for an affordable option for a little utility trailer you can use behind your subcompact tractor, ATV, or side-by-side, -side, check out Vivor. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can check this out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget, get outside and enjoy God's creation. It's beautiful out here. Y'all have a good day. Mm -hmm.